So innovation, I think, if we come out of these two days with one important point, it is, um, or a few points, innovation, partnerships. Partnership is very important. Partnership from the government point of view. If you look at governments and environment and scientists, and uh, I think it's very important for them to work more as a partnership, as a business, as we would run. If, we, if, if you're looking at environmental issues, you can't work with, not with the finance and budgets. You have to have budgets there. You have to have the understanding of the culture. You have to have the government. You have, really, it can't, if environmental issues are going to be dealt with, they need to be dealt with with ma major players at, uh, together, united, and thinking out of the box. And again, I come back to, with that innovation. And so we spoke about um, innovation. We spoke about social entrepreneurship, which is very important to, um, to be able to, the need to educate about social entrepreneurship is crucial, very important. That's the partnership that I was talking about. We spoke as well about security and law. Uh, any ideas that you have, uh, and I'm sure you have many, don't hesitate to email us. Uh, anyone that you want to invite uh, that you think would contribute to our think tank um, is very welcome. Uh, people that are very smart, that work all day, that don't have the opportunity of meeting a lot of people, and why not engage a lot of the academics, which is the, one of the greatest assets of America and, and other countries, and why don't we engage them in a conversation with, uh, with their own discipline? Because in a university like Harvard, the scientists don't speak to the lawyers and the legal department doesn't speak with the business department. They don't even speak to one another. When they come here, they, they actually meet each other and have a conversation. So one of the greatest assets is in the universities, and it, it's a great pleasure to have a lot of academics with us and as well entrepreneurs, and mixing really the science with the, the, the historians and the politician, and it's very engaging. For example, the president of Iceland has devoted a lot of his career on environment. He's been, a, he's been pushing uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, the, the, the environmental issue. So he's very pleased to be able to engage in conversation with other scientists and, uh, and, and then give projects to them and work with them and, and look at different, um, different opportunities that he can bring other ideas as well to other presidents and prime minister and engage in another conversation about the environment. So it's a, it's, um, a contagious uh, effect to gather people like you and, um, and I'm very thankful for your contribution and have a lovely evening. Goodbye.